In this video, we're going to look at composite functions. So this is a function of a function. Let's take a look at the first example. This says fg of three. And what this really means is that we are doing f of g of three. We're taking the input three and putting it into the function g. And whatever we get there, we use that as the input for function f. So you could think of this in this form. So let's take this in steps. First of all, let's just work out what g of three is. So down here, I'm going to do a bit of working. g of three. To do that, I'm just going to substitute the three in place of the x here. So g of x takes three times the input, that's x. So in this case, we're gonna take three times this input, three times three, and then we add five because g of x was 3x plus 5. Now 3 times 3 plus 5 is 9 plus 5, which is 14. So g of 3 is 14. That's this lot here. So 14 is now what we're going to input into the function f. So f g of 3 is simply f of 14. So I'm going to use the input of 14 in the function f now. f of 14 is going to be two lots of 14. All I do is I substitute the x. So that's simply two times 14. And that equals 28. So fg of three is 28. In part b, we're working out g f of 3, which looks very similar to what we had in part a, which was f g of 3. But the order does matter, as you'll see. What this means is that we're going to do g of f of 3. So let's just focus on f of 3 first of all. f of 3 would be 2 times 3. We just put an input of 3, so the output would be 2 times 3. 2 times 3 is just 6. So we're going to input 6 into the function g. And inputting 6 into g, we're going to get 3 lots of 6, which is 18, plus 5, which gives us 23. Pause the video and have a go at part c for yourself. Here's the answer. f, f of 7 is simply going to be f, of f of 7. So the first thing I'm going to do is input the 7 into the function f and if I do that I'm going to get two lots of 7. Remember f of x is two lots of x so f of 7 is two lots of 7. So f of 7 in here would be 14 and that's what we're going to input into this function f on the furthest to the left. Now we do 14 into the function f. f of 14 would be two lots of 14. And that's simply going to be 28. Pause the video and have a go at part d for yourself. Here's the answer. hg of 1 is simply h of g of 1. So first we're going to input 1 into the function g. And if we input 1 in there, we're going to get 3 lots of 1 plus 5. 3 lots of 1 is 3 plus 5 gives us 8. So we're going to do h of 8. So 8 is our new input. g of 1 was equal to 8, and that's what we're going to put into function h. h of 8 then is going to be 8 squared minus 1. So we can write that out. We get eight squared minus one. That's 64 minus one, which is 63. So what we've looked at in this video is composite functions. We can do a function of a function. And remember, the order matters. So f g of x is not the same as g f of x. And we saw in example b, that you can have something like f, f of x. So you could input something into f, 
get that output and use that as an input into F again.